you're in a situation where, like, where you've had the privilege of being brought up by parents, two parents, that is a privilege in itself. What they've taught you, they've either taught you subconsciously or by choice. And I strongly believe that there's a time in life where you choose what you will keep with that they've taught you, what you'll change, what you'll 100% cut off. And that is a a fundamental position to hold as an adult. When you fail to recognize that and you keep defaulting to blaming your parents and failing to see that you're an adult making a decision, there are problems there. And anyone that has parented knows that even knowing what it is that your child needs is hard enough. But I feel so proud and so honored to be in that position to know what is wrong and right for me and what is wrong and right for me to pass on and then to choose what I have to pass on, even if it wasn't implicitly given to me, but it's something I've learned to pass on. So I think it is a debt and I think it's a debt that doesn't only apply to your children. It's a debt that should apply to your circle of influence and and in that influencing this little bit and this one, you obviously will influence the world a lot because somehow that lesson goes out. Like all my life, I think of the people who meant something to me. Like you think you might be saying, you might have the same thing. You have this particular auntie that comes to mind because she taught you something like, or she gave you something or an uncle said something to you that has stayed with you for life. And it's like a default setting that gets activated in particular situations. And I value that. And one of my biggest, biggest things that I want to, a legacy I would want to leave is to know that my nieces and nephew go, you remember when Auntie Paula used to do this? And then this and this and this? That sweet memory associated with you when they were little. They can change when they're older, but that that innocent soul having this beautiful memory of you, that I love. And if anything, I want to I want to hold that place in their entire lives. As long as it's a child I know, I want them to have something small that they in their brain you can't change because it's antipolar or something like that. And I think I think for me knowing that, I choose what it is I'm going to give. I choose what that one thing I want them to remember, whether it's a kindness, whether it's it's teasing, whether it's a little treat, whether it's it's a lesson, depending on their age. So I find being an intentional parent is is hard work, but it's so worth it. So worth it. Obviously, you get things wrong along yeah. the way, but it's a debt you have to repay. You really have to treat it as a debt. 